<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 1967 Russian horror film, V. To be honest, I don't really know much about this film. Uh, I saw a GIF online and I thought, that's enough. <laughs> V is based on a short story by Nikolai Gogol. Gogol is a was a Russian writer, playwright maybe, uh, responsible for some proto-surrealist stories such as uh, The Nose. I think he did The, the Welcome, right? The Guest? Um, no, that's Durer. Uh, the Nose, The Overcoat, V. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Diary of a Madman. And, uh, yeah, the, the movie is directed by Konstantin Yershov and Georgi Kropachev. Cool, yeah. V has been heralded as one of the titans of folk horror, of supernatural horror, ghost horror. These are all things that I resonate with deeply, so I figure why not check it out. So, yeah, let's watch V. And before we get started, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. Check out my Patreon if you want to support the work that I do. V is a colossal creation of the world. This is the народные предания. I actually wonder if V is an actual like folk tale or if it's a total construction on the part of Gogol. Okay, so established like early on a bunch of like rowdy boys, the energy of youth and whatnot. I'm guessing this will be a story contrasting the kind of red blooded impulses of young men and whatever else they may offer. Yeah, after watching Quite On, I've kind of made my peace with matte backgrounds. I'm like, yeah, it's it's just a style. Get over it. <laughs> but then you get see shots like this, and you're like, I, uh, I never want to see anything in a studio ever again. He's got a whole ass Russian voice. Beyond the Pale. <laughs> Don't... Okay. We've already healed out our protagonist. Not liking the look of this. I, it's rude to ask, but I do wonder if the elderly woman is played by uh, a female actress or a male. Oh, how did she do that? Already some sexual peril in this movie. I wasn't expecting this to be like a sex comedy. That's cool. How did they do that? He's probably like on. Yeah, he's probably on some sort of like um, harness that's covered by his by his costume. That was cool. She's a witch. I like the um, whatever set they're on. There, it, it didn't seem like they were going quite perfectly horizontally. Like, yeah, it seems like they're on a rotating set. That's a really cool design. That's like uh, that's like um, well, it's like Les Misérables, but it, it, it's like. Um, Mother Courage and her children. Already very kind of theatrical design to this. Already a lot more rear projection in this movie than I was expecting. You didn't need to go that far. She just wanted to take you for a little ride, son. She transformed into a young lady. Yep. Oop. You can get her number. Man, they uh, they lingered on her breathing for a long, long time. 
just casually exhaling. Oh, Dominus Hama, daughter of one of the richest of sotniks, who is located in 50 miles from Kiev, was brought here yesterday from the hunt, all bloody, dead and alive. Перед часом она изъявила желание, чтобы отхлопнуть. Ага. 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 I, I'm actually quite uh, taken aback and kind of struck by the comedic tone of this movie. I mean, like, I was expecting something in the vein of a more traditional horror movie, and this is, like, hitting that kind of Ghostbusters sweet spot of balancing the uh, fantastical and the horror elements with the, the humorous and light. I don't really think of Gogol as being like a ponderous kind of writer, so this probably is in keeping with that. So they got too drunk and they didn't arrive in time for the girl who's now passed away. That burst of red. Beautiful. Еще никакого дела с баночками не имел. Сколько не жил на свете. А почему же она никому другому, а тебе именно назначила читать? Бог его знает. Как это растолкало? It's actually funny. I obviously don't speak Russian, and I wouldn't know one way or the other. But he's actually changed the timbre of his voice, speaking with the uh, master of this household. That's interesting. Не врешь ли ты, пан философ? Вот на этом самом месте. Пусть громом так и хлопнут, если бы. He's taking a very kind of like uh, suppliant. Kind of tone to his voice. That's just gorgeous. I love seeing the interiors, the kind of home constructions, building constructions of this, of this culture, of this populace. And again, um, I forgot which video we did this for or which uh movie we also uh said this for but the kind of wait until morning um charge or setup of the folk tale that you have to endure the horror until sunrise Kurneko obviously but also for 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 um Hoichi the earless in Kwaidan Oh, it's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. I love, uh, they've done it like only one or two times, but I love the kind of panoramic. 360 rotational uh, approach that this uh, movie has been taking. Oh, it's turning into blob. Yeah, he's, he's changed his voice a lot from the first half of this. On that, like, uh, that first night he was, like, talking, like, down here. Beautiful, beautiful design. He really should have studied harder. Oh my, my God, dude, save it for another time. Yes, haunt his ass. Ooh, she is gonna ride him so hard. Oh, 
<laughs> get there in time, get there in time. I can kind of see an outline of maybe him doing it on previous take. Did you see that? She's really good at that, wow. Is she doing that herself? Yeah, see, doing the 360 rotation again. <laughs> What's the matter? Scared of a mime? Why would you be scared of a mime? <laughs> this movie's hilarious. What the fuck? Night one completed. Five nights at Freddy's. Yeah, really nice effect. <laughs> I'ma get you. I'ma fucking get you. Next time, motherfucker. Whew. Whew. <sighs> Overall, I'd say that was a success. God. God. Just take a camera and take a picture of the real world. No amount of movie magic can amount to anything in, in comparison. Nothing. <laughs> I love that that old guy's hands, his fingers were in focus, but not his face, not Coleman's face. Okay, different type of animal today. The first night we had <laughs> the first night we had the cats and now we have the crows. Is he drunk on, on duty again? He needs to stop drinking with those men. Beautiful, beautiful effect. Absolutely wonderful. He's gonna want it by the third night. <laughs> My guy is not well equipped to handle a crisis. <laughs> Oh! This is fun as hell. Come on! I love this constant, constant revolution. Come on! And it's established early on with the uh, revolving set. <laughs> Made it through another night. Заворожи снегом белым, приборожи. My hair just turned white by coincidence. No biggie. Nothing to do with anything else. Guy's got a newfound appreciation for life, I guess. Would you like to live deliciously? He's really been hemmed in. It's a, it's a, a good kind of like writing construction to take a character that is so uh, undetermined to do anything, uh, except to preserve his own interests, uh, to to find as many ways to prevent him from having an out as possible. 
whether it's the carrot of the uh, possible fortune that'll be endowed on him if he completes his task to the stick of he'll be lashed out of his hide if he doesn't. It's almost like um, it's like a carnival or um, like a coliseum. They all know what's going to happen to him and they're all kind of like sitting in wait. <laughs> Waiting for this man to be punished for their entertainment. He's the, uh, he's the geek in Nightmare Alley. Horniness. The answer is horniness. God, it's like, it's like, it's like who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Just way too much drinking going on. I like how derelict the, uh, the interior has become for this third night. We're at the, uh... We're at the final confrontation. He's found his voice again. Oh, shit. They just watched Repulsion. This is like two years after Repulsion. This has gone much farther than I expected it to. <laughs> Wow. All sorts of creepy crawlies. They went full tilt for this final sequence. I'm loving it. Jesus. Get yourself a girl who could do that. This is the dream. Name a more perfect GF. You can't. You can't. Oh. So this was V the entire time. Okay. The chubby X. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted. I'm doing the full Potemkin, okay. Well, if he wasn't, he'd still be alive. That's how German folk tales end, by the way. Like Brothers Grimm stories, the the ending of them is, and if they didn't die, they are still alive today. <laughs> the end. Interesting. Very interesting. Very strange, very curious movie. Very different tone from uh, the other Russian movies that I've viewed on this channel. I want to read about this character of V. Who is this? Who is this V demon? Ah, uh, so V is the demon that can see everything. The squat V is hairy with an iron face spattered all over with black earth. Its limbs like fibrous roots. The V orders its long dangling eyelids. Uh, 
mirroring the the young woman, reaching the floor to be lifted so it can see. Coma. Homa, despite his warning instinct, cannot resist the temptation to watch. The Chief of Gnomes, V. Oh, so in the original story, there was kind of an eyebrow motif. I noticed, I noted that for the uh, the elderly woman, the first form of the witch, but wasn't really clocking that for any of the other characters. That's interesting. So from what I'm reading, uh, this is supposed to be based on Ukrainian folklore, but the V itself doesn't actually exist in Ukrainian folklore. But yeah, something I didn't really touch upon is obviously that this uh, takes place in Ukraine uh, with them, you know, living in Kiev. And so the the people that the, the, the community that he joined were, were Cossacks. I mean, that, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, uh, I can't really speak on the historical aspects of this, the regional aspects, the whole treasure trove of landmines that <laughs> may be offered in uh, V as a Ukrainian slash Russian uh, story by a Ukrainian slash Russian writer, Gogol, Gogol. I've never been able to pronounce Gogol's name. Gogol? 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 Uh, but yeah, like, uh, like, a wonderful production design to this movie, like, awesome, weird mixture of practical effects, of, of, um, of rear projection, and uh, a lot of kind of circuitous imagery that definitely for me kind of evokes the, uh, the, the style of, like, Brian De Palma later on. Yeah, really kind of like energetic and fantastical kind of design to this movie overall. And I really like the tone that it struck between being a comedy and a horror. And uh, I wouldn't say that it quite reaches very far into being a horror, but that instead of becoming horrific, it does become like more otherworldly as a result of playing between these tones of comedy and 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 horror and. I just loved how kind of strange it was as a result. So it wasn't striking like the pit of your heart scary kind of horror, but it was like um, showing you something really peculiar uh, peculiar and otherworldly and fascinating within that otherworldliness. I think this is also like a tone that struck in the better parts of some of... Um, Nightmare Alley, Devil's Backbone, Pan's Labyrinth, Gu of Guillermo del Toro's work, for example. Um, yeah, I could definitely see del Toro liking this and liking the V creature, definitely. Yeah, overall, a really fun movie. Much more fun than I was expecting. Much, much, much more playful tone than I was expecting. Let me know what your thoughts are on V. Check it out if you haven't already. And be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. And until next time, keep watching good movies. <laughs> this is the first horror film to be released in the USSR. It's interesting. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hmm. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Ukrainian story appropriated by Russian filmmakers. <laughs> <laughs>